Hey guys, welcome back to Midwest Homesteading and it's calving season. It is. It is calving season. And it feels like almost every other day or every three or four days we have a new baby that has dropped. And so we're taking you along with us today because we had a new baby drop in our other field. So let's go see the baby. All right, Mama, where are you at? Where did you see the baby? I think the baby's laying down again. Is it? Yeah. Hey, girls. Which one is that there? See, that one's got... Y'all getting your dinner? Okay. She's got some stuff hanging out. I don't know. He's doing his. What exactly? He's doing his back end checks. <laughs> well, it helps you know when they're getting close to cabin. Yeah, it does. You've gotten pretty good at gauging how close, close they are. Yeah. She's close. Which one is that? Uh, not sure. It's just so exciting. Every the beginning of every year because there's just new babies oh it's the first one in this herd yep it's the first one on the south side i'm gonna go row this bale on out so they don't look at its facial markings I know it. it's is that it's mommy right there yeah she's got okay we call yeah. her bird poop hey, mama. <laughs> because it looks like a bird pooped right on her head hey, girl oh she's a very good mommy very good mommy but very protective so you do have to be careful even though these are a friendlier herd they tend to get they can get very protective and a little aggressive so you do have to be careful even if it's the friendliest cow that you own after they have a baby their temperament can change so you do have to watch kick it babe do what kick it <laughs> mama it's a bull. Oh, it is? I was hoping it was a heifer, but it's a bull. Like she's saying, get over here yeah, where she, I'm at. Yeah, she is. She's like, get away from those people. He hasn't been born long because his back legs are wobbly still. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, my gosh. Let's see if we can get him to stand up. He's good laying there if he wants to. Quit. <laughs> Don't you do nothing? Here he is. <laughs> If you guys, I know it. if you guys have been following our channel, Quit. you know Quit. this one right here. This is Sterling. Quit. Stop. He's a steer, but he is so ornery. He wants to head bunch you all the time. Has he ever got you? A couple of times. Like when you're bending over. Or something. Well, if he gets you in the knee, it hurts. <laughs> yeah, but he used to be so sweet when he was little. What happened to you? Mm -hmm. I told him he was going to the. <gasps> the Did burger you make factory. a clanking sound? Like, no. Click, click. <laughs> <laughs> no. Click, 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 click. <laughs> it's his other option. Oh, look. Stand up. Yeah. It's not been born long because it's, it's legs are, it's back legs are a little wobbly. Have you seen it nurse yet? I haven't. It has, though. I can tell her hair is matted around her uh, udders. We might get to see. <laughs> Your baby's right there. <clears throat> She just don't like us being around. Yeah, she doesn't. Look at those little wobbly legs. Yeah. It's very wobbly. wobbly. I think he's nursed. Look. <laughs> he's, he's going taking over. Off. He's going over to Sterling. He's going to the wrong one. Yeah, he is. She's Your like, mommy is following you. She's like, I wish you'd just lay back down now. <laughs> she got him up to move him. Now he's... No, he, going the wrong direction. Yeah. He's not doing She's gonna what she walk wants off. him to do. She's going to walk off with him. Oh, how cute. Yeah, he's, he hasn't been born there long. He he's wobbly. There's the new mommy and baby couple on the south, in the south field. <clears throat> we thought we were going to have some soon on this side. 
Yeah, that's fine. We are going to, when our baby Mookie, though, when she has a baby, I'm going to go nuts. I'm going to go absolutely nuts. She is our baby. And here she is. Here's our little Mookie. Our little Mookie, not so little. Hi, baby. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? But even with her, even though we raised her, after she has a baby, we'll still have to be really Gosh, careful. Yeah, she's huge. Just because you just, you never know how they're going to be. You giving rubber, her a scratch? I remember telling her she was drifting to one side. <laughs> so is it a telltale sign that they are close to labor if their udders fill, hmm? like if their udders fill up? Nah, it don't always happen that way. Sometimes they bag up and they get really bagged out, and then sometimes they don't happen until after they drop the calf. Okay, so that's not always a telltale sign that yes. Uh -huh. but sometimes it doesn't happen. A lot of times you can tell on the right side the belly's big, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden it's not as big and the calf's moved into position. Okay. And then they get swollen in the back end, and then they'll walk with their tail. Well, she won't let me. <laughs> but they'll walk with their tail a lot of times out and then yeah. crook down. Oh, Kind of okay. a weird, like an arch. Like an L shape. Right. They'll walk like that if they're getting ready to calve. But see, she's getting swollen. Oh, my gosh. So she'll be, she'll be I, calving for long. I don't usually girl. come out here whenever mm -hmm. they're calving, especially at night. But if, <laughs> if she's... If she's going, we're going to be out here. Yep. We are going to watch this little girl have her first baby. And we just want to say, we don't claim like that we know everything about cattle no. and calving. A lot of our <laughs> information is learned. We're still learning. We're still learning. Actually, my sixth grade science teacher teaches me a lot because he's been farming. I think he's, he's 80. Still, still. I think he's 83. And they have like hundreds of heads of cattle and anytime i got a question i call him but Sixth grade I, think he's 80, I think he's 83 this year and he's been farming since he was like 12 or 13 i think wow on cattle so yeah if i've ever got a question it's like i call him up and he's always got an answer he does and that's actually who i sell all the calves when we get them like five six hundred pounds we sell all the calves to their farm and then he finishes yeah. them all from there yeah so a lot of our knowledge is from other farmers it's been researching and it's been hands on like learning as we go <laughs> and so we're we're still learning as long as we have cattle as long as we have a farm we're still open to learning more and hopefully we have a farm for a very very long time because it is so Peaceful. So rewarding. And peaceful. And peaceful. If you're ever having a bad day, go pet a cow. Go, <laughs> go pet a cow. I don't know why she's got that stuff hanging out of her. Who is it? Oh, this one right over here? Yeah. I don't think she, I don't know if she's pregnant or not. That's one I was kind of, she looks pregnant from this way but but I don't know she's the one that's kind of like hanging around the bull oh okay but supposedly they can still you just yeah you just looked this up the other day yeah I've had it happen before you think they're, they're like hanging around a bull or riding a bull but the bull's hanging around them and then next thing you know they have a baby you think they're in heat they, you think they didn't mm -hmm. get bred but they actually did but she missed are you pregnant? She skipped a year. We don't year. usually get our cows preg checked just because of our location. It's not very convenient. We don't have to do on the other side. That bull, he's like, he bats. <laughs> that bull's 100 100. He, he bats 100% every year. Yeah. This bull, every once in a while, he'll miss he's one. about 90. 90%, 95. 95. Eh, well, probably better than that. Probably 97. 98%. 97, 98. But he'll miss one every once in a while. Yeah. I know some people do. They get their cow's pregnancy checked, but we just don't do that.
Here's our little farm cat. Here's Harley. Well, hi, honey. Hi, honey. You gonna say hi? There's our little farm cat, Harley. She's kind of acting weird, too, like she's wanting to go up by herself. This one? Mm-hmm. So one sign for sure is that they head off by themselves from the herd. Yeah. Yeah, if they're off by themselves, you know they're... There's it's there's a couple. There's a couple on that side that they'll calve right there in the group. While they're eating hay, the others eating hay still have their calves, but... Typically, that's not normal. Yeah, 99% of the time, they'll go off by themselves and find a place by themselves, be yeah. away from everybody else and calve. Usually, if you see one off in the field by itself, you know it's about to calve, if not calved. Well, because cattle are family oriented they like to be around each other so when they go off like that yeah but they're just like humans you don't always be around your family either <laughs> but that's why they go off is to Look, she's have looking, a baby she's, she's looking at the cat hey that girl oh she's going to oh <gasps> Ooh. she didn't seem real happy about that she, oh mama's over there too we got a mama and harley over there they don't like the cats she didn't calve, did she Another back end check. Hey, she didn't calve, did she? She looks like she's been nursed on. Oh, she does? A little bit. Huh. Maybe not. I don't know. It's a super, super beautiful Let's go. day. We've got some really good weather this week. Let's go walk back here just to make sure. Okay. It almost looks like she's it almost looks like she's calved maybe. I bet that's her calf. Oh my gosh. We just found a baby. Where is it? Down there laying. I bet it's oh, stuck. I I see it. Here come over here. Okay. I, come over here. Because I don't want, want her to go over you? that way. Go over that way. Okay. Look, Brian, she's following. I bet that's her baby. Oh my gosh. It looks that's like unexpected. it's expected. Come on, buddy. This is what happens. I Brian can't... is like a baby calf. I don't want it getting detector. Like you just know when they've had one. And I'm like, no, it's fine. It's a little heifer. Oh. Um, can you can you pull that wire up? Just pull, come over here. Pull those two strands up. Pull Be them careful. up? Yeah, the bottom two. Just don't get hooked. Okay. Can you pull them straight up? Oh my gosh, it's heavy. They're very heavy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. oh no, 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 no. no. <laughs> watch her, watch her. Okay. Watch her. That's too heavy. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, Alicia. I'm trying to get it to go. There it goes. There we go. Daddy, you cannot go down there. Okay, we had two. <laughs> Surprise. We had two. Be careful because yeah. she might be. She's a little testy. This is what we're talking about. How they can be unpredictable. That's a little heifer there. It's a heifer? I wonder because she looked like her. She looked like her. Uh, this she, is her second baby, right? Second this, or third? On this side. Hold on, hold on. Is it going to nurse? It might have got. I don't know if it kind of got out of there or not. And the only reason you thought she may have had a calf is because it looked like. She had been nursed on. Well, the hair gets matted around the... Around the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, the hair gets matted when they've nursed. And usually you can tell if they if they nursed because the, the hair gets that matted. Saw. That's so crazy. I, I wouldn't have caught on to that. Yep. There it oh, goes. Oh, there she goes. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. It never gets old. You know, some people go through walks and they find interesting rocks. 
rocks <laughs> or like little <laughs> meat artifacts we find baby cows <laughs> that was a good find <laughs> we had no idea there was a second baby <laughs> oh my gosh i need a this I'm... is what happens when it's been really really rainy and wet oh. and then it dries try to it's like a landmine like i was saying the weather has been really really nice and this week we're looking at maybe the 50s which it really isn't very typical this time of year but we will take it it makes checking cattle checking fences all of those things much more enjoyable are you going to close off this area yeah if i ain't going to get to tonight but yeah i ain't going to have time I'm just trying to get it all might have dad come back tomorrow and try to work on it i just don't i don't like them coming over here because the pond yeah the pond's kind of deep and we did yeah. have one fall in the pond one year yeah which that was that's very very that's not very for here that's not super common for them to do that but we did have that happen one time all you need is it to happen once and then you're cautious forever, you know. Again? I'm not doing it again. Once well, was enough. So Shoo. Ryan was just fixing some fence and what happened? Well that fence ain't on, but the one at the end is on. And I just I touched it with my elbow when I was working <laughs> on the other one. I, and, I, and I wasn't recording. And I said It's wonderful. Can we do can we do it one more time? <laughs> How did it feel? I've never touched one. Well, here, let's go touch it. No, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I was like, man. Let's go walk through here and that check. That would have been a good opportunity. Is this on? That's not on. You just got shot. I sh that was the other fence. Okay, no, hold it. Do what? Oh, it's not hold on. Hold it. Okay, I, 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 I need to I... see you touch it first. And I need to look in your eyeballs as I'm watching across, walking across. <laughs> <laughs> these woods always look so spooky to me anytime we come back through here it just looks like a haunted forest when i was a kid this would have been so scary to me you brian actually grew up on this property i did not did you guys play back here a lot i did my sister i don't think my I don't know if my sister's ever been back this far. <laughs> I'm serious. She probably she, has. She she's probably, probably an indoor girl. Kinda she probably like, don't even know what this looks like in here. Well, okay. We'll tell her to watch our videos. She can, she can see what it looks like. I don't even know if my mom. I don't know if my mom was raised on this farm. Really? Yeah, because my great grandpa bought it in what 1892, I think. Yeah. Or yeah. 1889. 89. 18, it's on our barn. 89 or 80, 92. But I don't know if mom's been back this far. Wow. I mean, it is, it is really pretty. It has like a scary, scary quality to it. But we really do like walking back here. It's peaceful and scary. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take a little detour. Because one of the mommies actually brought her calf back here to hide. And so, hey, mama. we're not going to disturb them, but, so we are going to walk this way, kind of away from her. So, I know that, like, after, like, when the cow, it separates itself to have its baby. Right. And then it usually stays away for a little bit. What? Um, like yeah. with your experience, I mean, that what can, is typical? Because they do eventually bring the calf back into the herd because they want to get back in. Usually a day. A day or two? Yeah, not, yeah. I mean, a cow usually, she'll hide her calf for two or three days. A couple of days, she'll just kind of hide it and it'll sleep by itself somewhere. And she'll go back and check on it once in a while. So she'll come up with the rest of the herd. And then after a couple of days, she'll, she'll bring it up with the herd. And it I'm just... I'm showing them how you yeah, actually yeah, roll out a bale of hay. You'll roll out some hay 
in this heavily brushed area well, if it's... there's cedars. This is all cedar, so like when it's really, really cold, you get in the middle of this, you can't even feel the wind, even if it's windy. So sometimes you'll yeah. bring the hay back here. If it's like raining around. or heavy snow, it kind of, it just, it's kind of an it's umbrella like form. It's cover. Natural so I just protection. Put it in there so it can get out of the weather. Because you're nice. Because you're a nice farmer. I, I feel like that is true with you because you go the extra little bit. Like get shocked by the fence? <laughs> just to keep them <laughs> safe. But you do. You go like that extra little mile just out of kindness, honestly. Am I making you blush? <laughs> no, I just, I like animals. I don't like to, I like to take care okay. of them as best I can. Real quick though. What? I know you're the, <laughs> you can tell I'll poop by just seeing it on the ground. I think it's coyote. What poop is that? I think coyote. Ew. It's got hair <laughs> you can in it. Usually look at, <laughs> you can usually look at poop and tell. <laughs> That's like a great what? Knowledge base. You can look at poop and tell what animal it came from. Like, quit moving, Mom. <laughs> that that is fast food right here. <clears throat> so that's baby surprise number two. Sometimes this is what happens. When you just go for a little walk in the cow field, find baby. See what happens here <laughs> oh. between mom and the cows. They don't like it when the cats come out here, do they? No. As you can see, they are like checking Mama. her out. Is that sterling or silver? Uh, that's, that's the steer. Mama. Mama. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Remember how she used to headbutt me? Yes. When she was little? Don't want to do that now. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Watch your back. Me and these... <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and leave. <laughs> He's coming after you. Oh, I didn't do anything, Sterling. <laughs> We're leaving. We're leaving. <laughs> He's such a meanie. Did that mean old cow scare you? Yeah. That mean old cow scare you, Mama. Mama. What are you doing, Mama? Oh. Bye. Hey, guys. We just want to thank you for hanging out with us today. If you have not, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Like it and turn on your notifications so that you'll be notified every time a new video drops. We hope you are enjoying this video, and we hope to see you in the next one.